so in this video we will learn how you can use modal modal is basically an additional screen which by default uh, will appear as a pop-up screen so whenever you have something to show up on pop-up screen whenever you click on something or you perform some action then in those cases you can use modal and we will learn this via simple example so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and just run it on an any simulator i'm running on ios simulator if you are using windows machine then you can also run it on android simulator so first of all let me just put a text here and write down main screen so that we need to first import the text okay so main screen so this is our main screen now let me just import the modal imported the modal let me just create a modal these are modal we can set it visible property to true or false let's set it to false first and let me just write another text modal screen okay let me just save it so this is our main screen and if i turn it to true let me just put it on a view first otherwise the text will go out of the screen and provide style property to it okay let me just save it so this is our model screen as soon as i turn visible property to true we are so if i again turn it to false we are back to our main screen so this is basic concept of modal let us just create uh, a small app uh, in which user will insert his name and age and on the modal screen um, uh, their name and age will be displayed so first of all we need some kind of uh, button on both the screen so that one button will open the modal from the main screen and one button on the modal screen so that we can close it because this is we, uh, we are doing this changing uh, invisible property in the code actually user uh, will only have this app so he needs some kind of uh, some kind of mechanism so that he can uh, go back to the main screen so for that we'll be declaring a state let's say open let's say it open and we can change the uh, when we can change this state on the button click by default it will be false because when when user first open the app we do not let him to see the modal screen then another is for name to store the name of the user it will be an empty string h let's set it let set it to zero okay so let us first import the text input Mm, uh, remove this
text input let's provide some styling input let's just provide the background color let's say pink margin top 20 Let's also provide the padding. Okay, so on these, let us also provide place order name and on change text. whichever text user enter we will be storing this into name state let me just copy this text input and h Set it. Okay, so here we have two text box. Now, first, the first one is for name, and the second one is for age. Now, let us create a button. Let us first import the button. Title will be click and on press arrow function we will be setting the open prop uh, state to true by default it's false and when we uh, click on this button this one it will set it to true let's change it to open so this is our modal screen your name is name state and you are years old let me just provide style everything looks good just let me just type in the name Bridgen and let me just enter the end so now when I click on this button the state property the state of op uh, the open state will set to true as I provide here and we'll be seeing this model and we also need a button on the model screen let me just copy this because user need to clo also close the model close and let's set it to false okay so now we are good to go Bridgen 24 let me just click your name is Bridgen and you are 20 year, 24 years old so now when I click on close uh, the this button will activate and the false will be set to the open state
and we'll be back on the main screen so this is basically how you can use the moda this is a very basic uh, this is the very basic example of modal we will uh, we'll be seeing more example of using modal in our next videos thanks for watching